Hey guys, just uh, heading over I-70 towards Moab, and I think over here off the highway, I saw a herd of bighorn sheep, which is pretty cool. I'm on this pretty gnarly, rocky road trying to get back there to see if I can find them. If so, I'm gonna do a little photography real quick, and I'll post them up on the video, but we'll see. See if I can uh, break out the good camera and take any pictures. Your GSP points at the bighorn sheep right next to your truck. Hanko, what is that? What is that, Hanko? You smell? No, no, no. No, no. No, Hank. No. Better get out of here because he will try and jump out the window. We got in late last night. We drove from um, from northern Colorado in the Fort Collins area out to Moab, and we just pulled off on a quick little BLM free camping area. Um, truck camp last night, still in the camper right now. It was actually pretty mild, pretty mild temperatures. It was about 64 in Moab last night and it was about 30 in Colorado when I left so that was a big change for a six hour drive but we're just watching the sunrise now it's a really clear pretty morning gonna grab the mountain bike here and do a little riding while this guy runs beside me and that's it but not a bad morning huh you fired up this morning? Hanko, you fired up? Go get it. I don't know what you're doing, but go do it. What you got? What you got? Oh, you got a stick? I'm trying to find one, huh? Hanko, where's the ball? Where's the ball? You forgot your ball at the house. And guess what? There's no sticks here. There's no sticks, buddy. No balls, no sticks. We'll find you something. We'll stop by a store and get you a tennis ball, okay? Okay. Well, this place is pretty epic. All right, well, I think we're gonna camp here tonight. We've got a real nice spot. I'll take it.
What do you think, Hanko? Did you sleep good? You cold? Alright. Can't get this blanket on you, bro. There you go. Look at that. Like a new dog. Is that better? Well, that, that's not helping. Hey, bro. Lay down. Hey, bro. Yo. Yo, Hank. Lay down. You ready to go run around? Hank. Go. Go ahead. There you go. All right. Well, we slept last night, Valley of the Gods, uh, in Utah. It's really pretty out here. Um, as you can see, endless sky, sunsets and sunrises are pretty outstanding. And uh, it's BLM. It's BLM camping, so you can stay here for 14 days if you want. And just, you can mountain bike, you can hike, you can climb up with these these awesome rock formations today we're gonna go explore a little bit up on those mountains hank likes to go up there i like to go up there and then once we are done we will head back up to moab maybe one more night and we'll see Well, it's time. First off, just look at that. Are you kidding me right now? Are you absolutely kidding me? All right, that's pretty high up. I don't know if we can get to the top, but we're going to try. Hank, how come I'm breathing heavy and all you want to do is play fetch? Let's go. We're definitely up here. But this last little bit is like straight up. And you can see everything kind of crumbles and falls. And with no cell service and no buddy with me, it might not be the wisest to go all the way to the top. All right, we are back down. That was fun. It's a little sketchy at the top. Didn't make it all the way to the top, but had to kind of evaluate as we go, take into consideration, you know, the surroundings, resources. And so we did what we could. Well, guys, I'm gonna show you where we're at here. We're in Valley of the Gods and it is Pretty epic up here. Let me just turn this around so you can check out what I'm looking at. I'm actually just sitting up here looking around because the view is outstanding. So let me shut up and show you. Hey Hanka, wanna go to Moab? Wanna go to Moab? Let's do it, bro. What in the world is that? You might not be able to see it, but we're getting closer. It's like a giant rock beehive. <laughs> I don't know what, that is bizarre. I assume that was formed through millions of years of wind and water and everything else, but good Lord, that is odd looking. 
it looks like there's a little hole at the bottom. And there's a private property sign on it. But imagine buying that piece of property and getting your own little rock beehive out of it. I literally don't know what you call that, but it's, it's like the ultimate bunker. That thing's sweet. All right, I was going to head into Arches National Park um, and then come out and find a camp spot. Because I'm truck camping, I can't drop a tent or a you know a trailer or anything that designates that I'm staying in a in a dispersed camping spot. And Moab is filling up fast with people. I'm thinking it's all the crowd from Colorado. I see a lot of Colorado license plates um, coming in for the weekend because they've got some decent weather compared to Colorado. So, gonna grab some firewood from the nearby gas station and just go grab one of these spots now. It's gonna be dark in two hours anyway, so I'll just scratch arches today and go set up camp a little early. And me and the doggo will hang out. And then tomorrow morning, gonna meet the wife, family, and CJ. Um, and we are gonna family it up and go hang out in Breckenridge, Colorado tomorrow. So that will be that. We'll go grab the camp spot now and uh, hang out by the fire. What's going on guys? It's a beautiful evening here overlooking Moab in the BLM land. I'm going to start a fire here. That's it, I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna cook some dinner here in a second. Crank out the laptop, bust out some content and sit by the fire and relax. This guy is losing his mind here. Let's see if you can see him. What? What is it? Oh. It's the ball. You want me to throw it? You want me to throw it? Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Do a little fire, do a little food, and do a little writing. And that'll be the evening. I'm going to bust out this quick fire fire starter here because I don't feel like messing with this thing. These things are pretty sweet. It's like a little, I think, 30-year shelf life fire starter. I keep some of these in a little get-home box in the back of my truck. Keep some in the house. It's just a good, no-nonsense, waterproof fire starter to have. So let's just do it here. And that should be enough to get things going. All right, so I don't know who makes these, these raw tortillas, but you just heat them up. Fresca uncooked flour tortillas at Costco. Good lordy, they are good. And so we, I'm a little ashamed, but not really, to say that we made bacon, burgers, bacon, burgers, and fresh tortillas, and some crap cheese. So this isn't gonna be healthy, but oh boy, it's gonna hit the spot because I've eaten like one thing today. It's about time to chow. What do you think, bro? Oh, you just wanna get the ball, that's it. Mmm, you got some burger and bacon, huh?